ladies and gentlemen. This is a time where we say good evening, good evening, good evening. It's about that time. We are live. We are live at Cafe Blue, right in the road. Well, this is our the quarter stage. And we have a hot one for you today. So sit back, relax, get your wine, get your shandy. Get comfortable. It's time to enjoy some live, live jazz. This evening, we have none other than Relan Brown and the Dominant Seven Calypso Jazz Band. So without any further ado, we go live. Thank you. 
gentlemen, we turn you to our host, none other than the host with the most, Miss Josanne Leonard. Thank you very much, Kenny Phillips of WAC FM, and sitting next to him is Carl Jacobs. Yes, my name is Josanne Leonard, and I'm extremely delighted and pleased to be with you here this evening as we kick in the second uh, edition, or the second episode, rather, of the Live at Cafe Blues series. And this actually is not just about entertainment. I mean, it's, it's uh, entertainment, but it's serious business. This pandemic has really affected so many of us in so many different ways. But for artists, and particularly musicians, borders closed, live venues closed, a venue like Cafe Blues, which has really become a staple uh, that in, in no time has, has filled such a gap in Trinidad and Tobago and has resonated throughout the region because the name Carl and of course Carl and Carol Jacobs is so synonymous with music. So we're really delighted. Uh, last week we started off with Charmaine Ford and Nigel Campbell. And so I'm delighted to be the guest host this evening to talk with another uh, really important and uh, successful and nascent and all the other adjectives. But before I, I tell you who our guest is, well, you know who it is. I want to invite you. I mean, you're not coming to the venue in person. You're coming to the venue virtually. And we need for you to support. We need for you to support our artists and to support our creatives. Because without music and without art, there really is nothing to life. So the numbers will be coming up on your screen. But I'll start off by giving you a reminder of what they are. It's 92251. That pledges $5. 92252, that pledges $10. 92253 pledges $20. And 92254 pledges $50. And this is a totally local, local meaning not just Trinidad and Tobago, but the entire region. And welcome wherever you are and in our diasporas as well on Facebook and on YouTube. Our technology partners, Blue, Guru, Blue Gurus Homegrown, you can make your pledges at um, fundme tnt. That's fundme tn, the letter n, t, dot com. So let's really get together and be part of an experience this evening. So I've given the kudos to Kenny and Carl and their respective powerhouse women behind them. That's Carol and Diane. And let me welcome to our set this evening, Relan Brown of Dominant Seven Calypso Jazz Band. Welcome, Relan. Thank you, Josanne. And hello to everyone out there. Okay, so we were really having quite a bit of a chat yes. before. Um, we were both kind of grooving to the theme song, which is a composition of, of Carl, I do believe. No, Andrew, uh, and no, no, yes. no not, not Forward Home. I'm talking about the theme the song one, for yes, the series. Yes, yes, yes. So we kind of grooving to that. And then we went right into your band playing uh, Andre Tankard's Andre Tankers. Forward home. Yes. Tell us a bit about, you know, who is Dominant Seven? What are you about? What are your inspirations? Inspiration? Inspirations. Yeah. I love Calypso. Um, my father played Calypso in the house. He sang Calypso. He, um, he breathed Calypso. Okay. And um, he, would, he, would quote, he would quote Kitchener and Sparrow and all of these guys. And so I had a real appreciation for that kind of thing growing up, okay? Uh, he also played jazz, okay? And he was, he was very, very respectful of the, of the people who, can, who could play jazz. And so there was always this thing, what, what, is, this, what is this thing that, 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 that you call jazz, right? And, um, you know, in my, early, in my very, very early um, 20s, I got the opportunity to start to learn to play an instrument. And, you know, this, this is having, having, having sung in, in choirs and different calypso competitions and so on. And I found the, the, the two worlds starting to, started to come together. And there was a junction in which it, it, it actually happened at UE. And you realize, you know, I can do these, I can do these two things, right? And um, like it, as, though, as though there was the, 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 the trepidation and the, and the tension behind, you know, whether I can do it. Every time, every time there was, every time a door opened, Every time opportunity open, um, uh, presented itself, the 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 ability to to, to meld the two things uh, became even more realistic, and um, so said so. I formed a, a group. It, it, it was a it was a rehearsal group, 
and um, eventually called the, the, the group Dominant Seventh. And that group actually started with um, one, of the, one of the founding members of the Charlie's Roots Band, that is Von Rick Maynard. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. he was the first drummer. Um, the first bass player was Russell Durity, who is, um, who is on, the, on the wall over there, the, the, the wall of fame over there. Uh, Marvin Newton was the, was, was, the, uh, was the guitarist, all right? Um, well, through several incarnations of the band, um, we've, we've come to the place where we've, uh, we have, we have a, a different group of people, but uh, people even more connected and even more hive-minded into playing, playing quality music, playing music that inspires, playing music that comes from us, but looks forward and, 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 and kind of pulls us into, in, into a, a better reality. Well, that's a really great intro because what we want to do is we want to give our audiences an opportunity to listen to some of the music. So you have some of your fans, yes. but we really have to make fans of new yeah. people. <laughs> yes, um, no, and this is what nice. a lot about what this series is about. It's not just about the, na the known names per se, but it's also about us celebrating ourselves. So yeah. I'm going to let you introduce what's coming up uh, next. Jovan, before we go there, let's yes? do some business. Okay. <laughs> the, um, this is the voice of God, Kenny Phillips. Who's this is the voice of business. <laughs> <laughs> so we would like to thank, we would like to thank some of our early contributors. Okay. And we'd like to thank Mr. Philip Rogers. Philip An Rogers. Ma Anonymous right. says, congratulations and best wishes. You make us proud. And Mr. Sean Wharton. And they have brought us immediately to 12.29%. And that deserves a round of applause. Oh my goodness. Well, I really don't know. <laughs> Seeing as how I am a bebe where money is concerned, I don't know what 12.29% is. But, but it, that is absolutely amazing, amazing, Kenny. Amazing in double figures in the first, you know, in the first song. In the first song. You know. So before we go, before I, I have Relan introduce... The next, uh, s uh, the next two songs or three songs, yes. just to encourage you to support our creatives, support our music, and this is quality coming to you live from Cafe Blue on a Wednesday evening in partnership with, WAC, with WAC FM. What can we look forward to, Relan? Immediately um, after I speak, you're going to hear uh, two of my newest compositions. They are Piti Karim and Kameen. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yeah, sure.
Seven. Good evening, good evening, and you're listening to the Dominant Southern Calypso Jazz Band. My name is Roland Brown, and this is the new normal for us, and so welcome to the live stream. Um, special thanks to Cafe Blue and Carl Jacob, and also Kenny Phillip of WAC Studios, uh, WAC Radio. Um, our guest, our host this evening is going to be uh, Josan Leonard. And let me quickly introduce the names of the, the band. To my extreme right, there is, on keyboards, we have Mr. Brewster, Mr. Mark Brewster. <laughs> on saxes and other mischief, we have Mr. Nicholas Sylvan. <laughs> on trombones, we have Mr. Joshua Pasquale. On drums and percussion, we have Mr. Winston Matthew. And to my left, we have on bass, Mr. Nigel Batiste. And what you just listened to was uh, a brand new minted original entitled Piti Karim. All right, Piti Karim is our Indian summer. It takes place between um, nice, brilliant sunshine, basically, in the, in the rainy season between September and October. All right? Yeah. Um, what we're going to do for you next is another original composition is entitled Come In. You know, we truly, I don't say, well, come in, come in, right? It's actually, a, it's actually based on the standard invitation, but we don't say, in, we, I'm, I'm extending that invitation. We say, come in. All right, so this is Come In.
another. Thank you very much. And we throw to Josan and Relon. Thank you very much, Kenny, and welcome back to all of you. Well, you didn't go anywhere. We went somewhere because, of course, we were looking at the earlier recorded performance. And this is the Live at Cafe Blue series coming to you from the most fantastic venue in the Caribbean. I mean, you have to be here. So as soon as they lift COVID restrictions, you have to make a visit to Cafe Blue because this venue actually speaks about who we are. It captures the essence of who we are as Caribbean people. Everything that Carl has done in this venue, and talking about Carl, Carl Jacobs, uh, Rellen, everything that he's done in this venue is really about us. And that's a kind of cultural confidence that really must be applauded. And then, of course, the sidekick who is the accountant. The accountant, how are things going? Kenny Phillips, how are things going in terms of our entrance to the live series, to the live uh, program? Well, Josan, <laughs> Josan, we seem to be doing fine. We are, we are, we are at 12.62%, and we are moving. We are moving in the right direction. Just, move just know that it's fundmetnt.com, and you contribute. If you are sitting at home and enjoying this beautiful music, soothing music it takes your mind away from the situation ahead in front of you you should contribute because we are working in fact we're not begging we are working and when you work you need to be paid <laughs> okay so 12.62 percent just remember you can do the text thing to be mobile nine two two five one five dollars nine two two five two for ten dollars nine two two five three for twenty dollars and nine two two five four for fifty dollars now don't try to put fifty dollars if you do have money on your phone <laughs> all right just know <laughs> and if you're enjoying this and not contributing we have a term for you it's called storming you don't want to be a stormer you know <laughs> contribute okay <laughs> Josan? thank you very much kenny you don't want to be a stormer no but i mean really this is uh when you think about it all of the all of this creativity all of this uh innovation all of this creative expression Relan, you, I mean, we just heard two songs from you. Tell us a little bit, because these are really, ori th those were original compositions. Yes, they were, yeah. And they are from your CD, your last CD, as I recall. No, Actually, or this is a new one? No, they, these compositions are for our, 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 our sophomore CD. Uh, yeah. CD yeah. Then, then, okay, then that's, that's then a big that's fancy word, boy, yeah, sophomore. Second, second, uh, it's supposed okay. to mean second, second CD. Yeah, no, I Okay. <laughs> yeah. The uh, so our second CD is going to is going to feature um, some some more music. Um, of course, of course, uh, in the in the in the calypso jazz um, vein as well. Okay. Um, these these two songs uh, were actually written during during um, during COVID? the during the lockdown period. Yes. Okay. Um, and they didn't start off as songs, actually. You know, they, 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 of, of course, you have a lot. I have lots of free time, so um, in, in, when I'm not when I'm not rehearsing or practicing, um, I'm writing, and um, you know, just just going through the motions and fitting things together, and realize, hey, this song's really, really good. And um, couple a couple things a couple things worked, a couple things didn't. And um, I I always have themes in the back of my mind, you know. So um, the the Piti Karim theme has been a long f for me for a long, long time, and so I wanted to um, finally, finally, I was able to place it and you know place it musically, and you know because because I really like I, I really like the theme. It, it's a, it, it's a very West Indian Caribbean theme, um, and I love I love Samuel Salvon. So when I read Samuel Salvon in, in secondary school, it was. It was a coming of age, actually, because there was the first time I, I read somebody writing about us. Wow, well, if I and may make fantastic. a little plug there, because Sam Selvan is my family. My grandmother is a Selvan. Wow. Amazing. You wow, know? wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. So that's that, her first cousin, Sam yeah, Selvan. Yeah. Right. So Johnson and Cascadu, um, with that entire series, The Lonely Londoners, right? Uh, plus others, Mark, um, Michael Anthony. These guys, in, in a literary sense, you know, um, 
give give well give many many uh, Trinidadians and, and Tobagonians our our identity our sense of self because um, coming coming out of the British system you you know you you you're fairly ensconced in British what is British right and here comes this guy talking about talking about the cascadura and so on and a lot of things a lot of these things we we ourselves had to research because i didn't know about the cascadura before but then you realize and you you, you speak you speak to your mom you speak to your dad you realize yes there is a there is such a fish and then there is there is this legend you know those who eat the native cascadura so that also oh, those who eat the cascadura so the native legend says yes wheresoever they may wander and in trinidad there it is that's right and this lovely something island in this something sim yeah. sublime yeah. okay all right johnson that's the johnson western western Indian readers was that yeah right? yeah yeah, yeah we, we kind of yeah. telling our age there of course of course <laughs> i do <laughs> yeah so that th those are the things that I want to I want I, I want my children to to to, to see and, and, to, and to appreciate about our culture. Of course, of course, I want to I want to modernize it and I want to I want to package it so that so that it's appealing to them. But it's part of our our thing, you know. Um, invitation, but not invitation, but come in, come come in. The, come in, the, as in come yes, in. Yes, as in come in. Come in. As yes. in come in. Yeah, it, it's almost one word, right? Come in. Uh, that, that as well as P.T. Karim uh, are what you call contrafacts. So they are, they are new melodies based on, on chords, right? So the first, um, P.T. Karim is actually based on the, the, the jazz standard Autumn Leaves. And, and Come In was based on Invitation, all right? Now it's perfectly legal to do that. In, in fact, it's a, it, it, it's, you have artistic license to do that, all right? It's not sampling per se, okay? Because you can't, you can't copyright a chord progression. All right, and it's a totally new melody. So, but the the, the chords are so beautiful. I thought, you know, the, the, during the course of of, co of course, the lockdown, you have lots of time. So, you know, I'm walking out, and you realize this thing. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave the the, the allure of, of invitation. Mm -hmm. All right, so I so I call it come in, as you know, to, to kind of localize it. Well, you know, I want to chat with you a little more, but I first have to check with the man of the, the voice of God across of there. Of course, of course. To make sure that we're running on time, because of course we have so much, so much more music. Yes. Well, more music to hear from Dominant Seven, yes. uh, led by Ren and Brown. So, Kenny, do we have a little more time for chat, or do we have to go to music? We go to the next set, so we can chat a little bit. Right. You, you know what? What I found interesting, Ren, was that you made this connection between people who, who capture and who have written about the West Indian experience. Mm -hmm. And, and so the literary expression, when you talk about Selvan, you talk about Michael Anthony, yeah. but then you're talking about a musician, someone who is composing music and <laughs> notes, mm. etc., and making it live now in a different creative, a different form of creati yeah. creative expression. Is that something deliberate on your part, or it, it just happens? It's something deliberate, because um, America, the United States of America, Part of their foreign policy is to is to basically shove their culture down your throat. All right, I mean it's a it, it's a kind of grotesque way of saying it, but they are very in your face with re, with regards to their culture. Okay, and um, we as as post-colonial people, um, we have a tendency to be very passive about about who people say we are. All right, and um, you have to be fairly aggressive in that climate. Okay, I, I know. Um, having done studies in cult um, cultural studies, I know that Canada, for example, has a very aggressive cultural policy um, that deals with America that, because, because they, are, they are neighbors and America is, uh, they, 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 have no, they have no qualms with, with export, aggressively exporting their culture. So Canada's cultural policy um, involves um, a lot of Canadian um, artifacts, a lot of Canadian cultural artifacts, and empowering their artists to produce more and more and more. Well, I know right? this is a different kind of discussion, yes. but it's very connected, and we don't want to lose people with the yes, music. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Because this is, this is a time that we want people to really be able to take in the music. Yeah. But it's really great to know that there's an artist or their artist thinking about the connections about who we are and how we express ourselves. Yeah. And of course, the numbers are on your screen. Um, this is not just about playing new music or introducing you to an artist, to those of you who do know, but let's get back to the music and uh, we'll have some more chat with you, Ranan. So sure. let's introduce the next two songs. Yeah, so the next two songs, are one is an original by myself um, and the other is 
one by Earl Rodney. That's, that's one of my favorite um, local arrangers and musicians. Um, so I'll start with the second one first. His, we, the name of that is, uh, is Peace, Peace Pipe. Peace Pipe. Yeah, and it actually appears on, on, on one of his albums, a 1973 um, Calypso jazz album. In fact, it's probably the first. It's, it's not the first, but it's a it's a seminal recording um, done in, way back in 1973. And and so Peace Pipe first appears on that, um, and and it's exactly what it is. Peace Pipe as in as in a, a slow a slow relaxing um, communal sort of uh, sort of uh, piece. All right. So let's give yeah. the, let's give the viewer and the listener the music. It's Peace sure. Pipe and the original composition. The original is first is the the legend the legend of the Cascadoo. The legend of the Cascadoo. Yes. So let's go. Good evening once again, and remember. The numbers on the screen, those are the numbers to call and donate. Make sure, make sure that, we are, that, that you're supporting good local culture, right? Good local music. Okay, the next, the next two songs, the, the next, uh, the, the, actually the next song we're gonna do is another original entitled The Legend of the Cascadoo, okay? And we'll get into what the Cascadoo is. Many of the younger people may not know it, okay? And then we, we do um, our first cover it's a song by Earl Rodney called Peace Pipe. Thank you. 
Miss Josanne Leonard. Okay, most of you who are looking at this program really don't know my history with Kenny Phillips. But what happens with Kenny Phillips stays with Kenny Phillips. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. But we're so delighted that you're with us, that we're part of this brand new series. It's not new in terms of an idea, but it certainly is kudos to Carl, Carl Jacobs and Kenny Phillips and all of the amazing people around them, the teams that they have, the tech teams, people like myself, people like the artists, people who really believe that we can come together and that we can do something in this time of crisis, we can find the opportunity. And uh, Rel and you all have been doing a really great job so far. Thank you. In terms of sharing your music yes. uh, with Trinidad and Tobago, but also further afield because of course this is what the internet and the live stream provides for us. Exactly, yes. Yeah? yes. And I'd like to quickly shout out, uh, first and foremost, my lovely wife, Liana, um, and my two sons, my, my two strong young men, Osei and Okira Brown. Um, second, the, the Brazilians, they would know, they would know it's, it's, not, it's not the Brazil of, of South America, it's the, it's, the Brazil, it's the Brazil of Trinidad, the Brazilians. Oh, Brazil, out. like in Central. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah the cool. Brazilians. Okay. All right. Um, the right and honorable Uncle Philip, who is also known as Preacher or Preach, and the Coffee Children. That, that's, the, that's the name of the, um, the WhatsApp chat. Uh, Sean Walters, uh, Wayne Haywood, and Elta Comerbatch, another, another family. She's in Venezuela. Um, Jeremy Chatur, who did our first CD. He was the saxophonist on the first CD. And a good friend of mine who is, who, who is residing now in France, Rennie Placid. You have, a real, you have a real long shout-out list there. <laughs> yeah. But talking about shout-out, Kenny, do we check in with you to see where we are in terms of the people who are paying to come into this great concert series uh, started by Cafe Blue and Work? Of course. Okay. The accountant, we call him. The voice of? The voice of God. <laughs> All right. We, we would like to thank, let me get it going here, Mr. Sean Wharton, Mr. Wayne Hayward. The All Caribbean Jazz Show donated, said I'll support Relon in any way, always. Miss Diana Fontaine, great job Relon and team, always a pleasure listening. And Anonymous says, excellent, with a very large donation, bringing us to 26.80%. Oh, wow, that is terrific. <laughs> Now, listen to me, you, you know, because we are very real here at Cafe Blue and there are a whole lot of, well, they're not, let, me, let me rephrase that, we're not a whole lot of people, just enough people that are legally permitted are here at Cafe Blue in terms of the crew and what is required for the production. And that applause that you're hearing is what we believe that you want to share with Rallon Brown and the Dominant Seven and all the other artists to come, Charmaine, who was last week. So that applause we know is your virtual applause, and we feel really good that we are able to share that. Yes. Right, yes. right, yes, we, yes, we do. Right. <laughs> okay. So um, Kenny will let me know if we're talking too much. Right. But we have some more songs coming up. But before we get into the songs, what's 
I mean, uh, outside of COVID, what's really going on with Dominance 7 and its trajectory in terms of where you're going to be? Um, forget COVID, not that you could forget COVID, but yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Well, pre-COVID, we, we, um, we recorded a live, a live CD, a live, um, some live music at uh, Chantal Ezdel's place in Woodbrook. Okay. And uh, that, that is part of the Ethnic Jazz Club. Yes, and yeah. we are going to um, we're going to release that soon. And of course I've been doing a lot of writing so so the material so that, that some of the material that you hear today that you've heard today is going on our next on on, a, on, a, on another um, production that we that we're working on. Um, and we are getting a little more into well because because live music is now at a premium um, it it's really it, it's really it's really important that we that you do it right all right so um i am I'm, I'm very pleased to announce that we're in talks with um a, a childhood friend of mine who is and, and and we are we are we are due to do another project in january a calypso project in january okay so i, I put the guys on alert and you know we, we've started we started um, planning for that already you know so we've we've moving we're moving on um in terms of in terms of our national exposure, well, we we just we just want to, we just want to keep it real, meaning meaning that would, but that we are we are continuing to do the work that we believe or the and, and play the music that we believe that that best represents us as 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 a, as, as a people, right? As an independent people who 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 are free thinking and who are intelligent, all right? Um, and so and so. When, whenever, whenever, whomsoever gets on board, we are very, very glad for to 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 to, to have them hear our music. Okay, so before we us. introduce the next two songs, which will be the the sort of the the, the finale, the grand finale yes. of the, the performance here this evening, I just want to say to you, those of you who are viewing, if you want to share the link, it's WAC Radio ninety point one live stream, which is on YouTube and Facebook, and we remind you. I know that the accountant has been running the ticker tape uh, intermittently on the on the live feed, mm -hmm. but the numbers are there. That's uh, let me find them. Let me give a little plug for that because um, I guess I have to earn my keep as well. Nine two two five one, which is a donation of five dollars. Nine two two five two, a donation of ten dollars. Nine two two five three, a donation of twenty dollars. Nine two 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 four, a donation of. $50, which is all linked to TSTT, where we have 51% ownership in, the, in it, so support TSTT. And of course, our technology partners, Blue Gurus with um, FundMe, TNT, TNT.com. And those of you who are in the diasporas, wherever you are, send to your friends, your relatives, people who love Caribbean music. This is the time to put up, I wouldn't say put up and shut up, but to put up and put up. Okay, so, Relan, next two songs as we kind of bring in the, the, ta the, the, the climax. Okay, so the, the final two tunes, um, uh, they actually appear on our, our homegrown CD, our, our first CD, and um, they, they're kind of special to me because one, the first one is, is, the, first, is the first Calypso jazz um, composition that I've written. And the second one is um, Forward Home. Uh, actually, Forward Home was written, it was arranged in about an hour and a half in, in the Little Carib Theatre. We, um, we were doing music for TJ and his brothers, a run of TJ and his brothers. And um, what better way to start the show than with some more Andrew Tanker music. So I found, actually, Douglas Redon, shout out to Douglas Redon, because oh, he's, yes. he's the first guy who put me onto, onto um, Andrew Tanker's music, act, uh, Forward Home, actually, all right? Um, it was in another key when I heard it on YouTube, and I, and I went with that particular key, because Dougie had it in another key. I guess, I guess for the key, he was teaching the children at the time, anyhow. Um, and so I, we had a, a, a little bit of time between, between runs, all right, because you know theater is is, is, yeah. is very uh, you know uh, uh, could, could be tedious at times, and we had a, a, about an hour and a half. And I decided, you know what? Let me write it. Let me let me let me arrange it, and we played it. We played it for for, for the pre-show um, um, from the. Well, from that the was interesting. Then. I do you know yeah. that you all were involved in sort of doing the soundtrack for Tija and his brothers. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. We okay, so let's introduce the next two tracks. Sure. Your your camera. It's all yours. Okay. All right. So Trinidad and Tobago. Here's New Beginnings and uh, Forward Home.
Good evening once again. And our final two numbers for you will actually appear on our homegrown CD, which was launched in 2016, still available on iTunes. Uh, the first tune we're going to do is my first Calypso jazz composi composition called New Beginnings. And a perennial favorite to end, we will have Forward Home by Andre Tanker. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting local culture.
you back to Josan Leonard and Relan Brown. Can I do some accounting before I get to you? Definitely. This is your gig too. Okay. So just to let you all know, we have seen we have seen the contributions in the in the text platform, and we thank you so much. We received um, well, nobody put their name, but they they made some comments. Somebody said we'll have to rub this train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't. Jesse James. <laughs> I'm telling you, the old Lord Josie Wales. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, but they, we've got some, some contributions on the text platform, and we thank you so much for understanding. And let's get back to, oops, let's get back to the FundMe TNT platform. Um, my friend, Mr. Michael Smith, thank you for your contribution. Loving the Trini Jazz from Cafe Blue, Boston Carnival Village. All right, thank you so much. Anonymous, Anonymous says, listening from Queens. Miss Brenda Jerome, regular contributor, thank you so much. Anthony Scary Jazz supports, enhance, Anthony promote, Anthony. repeat. Anthony Scary Jazz support, enhance, promote, repeat. Thank you for your contribution. And Lenos Garcia, loving the jazz, and brings us to 33.21%. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josanne and Relon, you can do a little discussion on, on where we are and what we're doing and how people can get on board. Thank you, Kenny. And we, we were just having um, Relan. I just kind of nipped across by Kenny to whisper in his ear. Diane, it was all above board. Um, and we were talking about what it is that, that Carl is trying to do here with, in yeah. collaboration with Kenny and a lot of the creators which is to build a platform and to build a following for supporting our local music. I'm hearing a lot of stuff behind the scenes there. Um, we have a few people here. Don't, don't, I mean, we're not breaking any regulations, but we're hearing quite some noise behind there. But seriously, th this idea of this, it's not just about COVID. It's about the fact that you know, we all subscribe to Netflix and all the cable channels and what have you. But our creatives have to, uh, have to face a lot of challenges. Yep. COVID has just made it a hundred, a thousand times exponentially worse, if you will. Mm -hmm. The idea of this series, and I'm, I'm happy that you're being a part of it. The idea of this series at Folks Home is that we're building our cultural confidence. We're building our cultural capital. Wow. We're building an, awesome. a, a, an industry. We're building wealth and innovation about, around who we are. Our music, our artists like Relan and Dominant Seven. Last week we brought you Charmaine Ford. Next week there's going to be Carlton Alexander and any number of artists, some of whom you know and some of whom you don't know. But without the support, and without embracing that, who we are, Er Ellen, and the way you can make that real, you know, I get daily notices from the Democratic National Congress, maybe because of something that I read. And so they have me on a database, and every single day I get at least 15 emails from Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, whatever. Not that I'm a Democrat, I'm just saying. We have to support our own. Exactly. I want you to make a plug for you, Dominant Seven, and the fact that this is how you all earn. And this is, this is the way in which our artists, and if we could actually keep the little noise uh, off, side, off stage a little down, please, we're live, so that, so that you at home, whether it's $5, whether it's $10, whether it's $15, $20, $50, it takes money to make the engines roll. This is not a charity case. Mm -hmm. We subscribe to all kinds of things foreign. Yep. We subscribe to all kinds of people and artists foreign. And it's time that we use this opportunity of COVID to support a WAC, to support a Cafe Blue, to support right. all the artists who are coming in here to build the capacity and to build the cultural confidence and the output of Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension, the Caribbean. Don't get me started on that, eh, Kenny? Okay? Don't get me started on that. 
five dollars. Listen, we're talking about, you know, I don't want to be crude. Talking about a box of people say about a box of dead. A box of dead. A box of chicken and chips. I'm not going to call a brand. <laughs> Make a contribution to invest in your son, your daughter, the future artists of the. Trinidad and Tobago, invest in them. It's a small contribution to make. It is. You have anything to say on that, Brads? I would like to thank the people who have contributed today. And I want to, I want to encourage people to support, your, to support your culture. Support the things that are invisible. Support the glue that, 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 really, that really binds us together. Because these are the, the cultural artifacts, the things, the, the, our norms, the traditions that we have, the music, the food, and so on. These are the things that, 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 are, that, that are part of our collective conscience that we can draw on when we leave Trinidad and when we, when we go abroad and, and the coal hit you or, or some crisis hits, you, you hearken back to, okay, mommy's sweet bread, daddy's music, you know, and you identify with that, okay? Um, and 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 but, but you shouldn't have to leave in in, in order to appreciate it okay you, you appreciate it now and you and you and you appreciate the people you appreciate people like myself and people like um, the, the members of my band and, and the whole host of, of, of really fabulous musicians and artists and writers that we have here that are that are producing content that 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 is coming out of the bowels of this nation right Kenny do we have we have the numbers running on the screen we mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we we've, we've had it running on the screen and I can pull it again anytime. Yep. And just to let you know that while you was y'all were speaking, the numbers went to thirty three point five five percent. Way. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> good, very good, very good, very good. Well, you know, I would like to know that we could get to f at least fifty percent today. It'd be nice. Yeah, yeah this nice. is that'd that'd not a nice. fundraiser. This is people who work. This is salary. This is salary. Yep. This is musicians and artists who get up every day, and through their creativity, they make us feel good. They, they create the music, the art. Well, we're talking about musicians in this case. Mm -hmm. The, know, the songs that we dance to, yes. the, the music that uplifts our spirits, the thing that we get our tabanka on, <laughs> the thing that reminds us of something that is in our collective memory or consciousness. Yes. Yes. This is what we're investing in people. We're not talking about... You know, for the comments, and we welcome all comments, whether, they're, whether you like it or you don't like it. If you think it's too much talk, here's what. We've got to talk. We've got to find our voice. That's right. We have got to say who we are. We've got to represent. We've yes. got to come to the table. Correct. Preach, jo Rella. Joseph, yeah. Yes, Joseph, darling. Um, I, I look at it this way. Once you could do something that takes my mind away from the present COVID situation and the pressures of home and work and no money and sickness and everything, you have done a job for me. That's right. And once you have done that job, you make me smile, make me sing along, you make me tap my foot, I should contribute. And it's as little as $1 US, as little as $5 TT, to as much as $50 TT, or which, more. Or more. Yeah. Which would be so much less than if you had to pay to get here, pay to come in the venue, put on clothes, and uh, that's right. pay your transport. It's, and uh, especially if you have to come from abroad to come here. Uh, because this is how we are working, and this is how we will be working for a little while to come. Well, you know, actually, Kenny and Rallon, I think that it's not just about a little time to come. I think that this, this medium was always with us, but it was, it, it's always difficult to, to use the fancy word to monetize it. Mm. But now we have an opportunity to actually, you can sit where you are, you can discover. You know, I think about this as discovery. There are many, maybe there are many people who know Relan and the Dominant Seven Calypso Jazz Band. There are many people who know Charmaine Ford and Carlton Zander Alexander, who's going to be our next artist in concert next week, and yeah. many others. But there are many creatives who are coming and who are on the periphery as well, yeah. who make such a sterling contribution, who add to that thing that is not that just value. about, you know, it's not just about the money. If value. it was just about the money, the artists wouldn't be here. To believe you me, no, I believe no. that. Yeah. 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 
So please, you can make a contribution. It is not a charity. This is about real work that people do. And people like Carl, Carl, Carl Jacobs and the crew around him, people like Kenny Phillips, my partner from a long time, and he's a Sando boy. It takes a lot to keep us on the radar. And you can help to keep this possible and to keep this alive and to keep artists paid and to keep our culture alive and our music and other forms alive by making some small contributions. Nobody else can you go and find $5,000. $5, $10, $20, $50 makes a huge difference. As the Jamaicans say, Ralan, one cocoa, one cocoa, full basket, eh? One cocoa. Do we yeah. have any more music? Oh, that was, we have more music to come, Ralan? Actually, no. A man say we talking plenty, yeah? But we have more <laughs> music to come? Actually, no, unfortunately. Not oh, today, actually. Bro. Not today. So this was a kind of, Kenny and I were talking earlier, and we said we kind of have, you know, after the show. Yeah. You have the after show. So I'm going to wait for him to tell me it's time for us to shut up. Okay, great. But, I mean, you know, now we have a chance, uh, while he allows us, mm. because he's the man controlling the buttons, yeah. to talk a little bit about, about really a little more about yourself and the band Dominant Seven, mm -hmm. um, and where you see yourself, what, what's really, what, where you're going. Yeah. Um, what are the things that are really important? Well, I've started, I've started um, thinking about um, creating, and, and, and I spoke to I spoke to some of the members of the band already about it, about creating uh, a language, a parlance for calypso jazz. All right, uh, when bebop started, it was it was um, w one of the progenitors. Um, was Dizzy Gillespie, another was Charlie Parker, all right? Charlie Parker was, was the creative genius, didn't live very long, um, but D Dizzy Gillespie was the one who arranged music and wrote, wrote phrases that became stock phrases that, 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 that people rehearsed and, and, and emulated, all right? We have to start to do stuff like that. We have to, we have to, literally, we have to literally take things and strategically um, um, create things that 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 uh, that represent us. So they, so they are called from many different aspects of music, all right? Because we, we, it's jazz we're talking about, and the guys you see here uh, have all studied, um, have all studied improvisation, but they're Trinidadians. So so the way we improvise is, is going to be is going to be markedly different from anybody else. From a Winton Marsalis or exactly, anybody like exactly. this. Exactly. Be before before we go any further, I just need to check in with our producer sure. Kenny to make sure that we don't have to do we have to wrap up the show, Kenny, and then come back because what we thought we would do is we would talk with the artists a little bit after the actual live performance. Yeah. So we don't really want to hold people who may not want to be here. So can you just give us a right cue? Yes, this is this is the wrap up cue. Okay, this <laughs> is the wrap up cue. Okay, well, yeah. let's just say thank you to all who Great. contributed, and um, yeah. we got some more contributions taking us to 33.89%. Oh, well, that's oh, great. great. Right. Great. Thank you, Miss Marcia Roberts, and thank you, Mr. Andrew Bruce of Caribbean Jazz Lounge. Andrew Bruce. And he's looking forward to your next CD. So that's he says, great. stay blessed. Okay. And uh, Miss Josanne, thank you so much for your, your, your knowledge and insight and your ambience that you brought to this program. Oh, yes, yes, you indeed. Know? Yes, indeed. Relan, thank you so much. Pleasure. And until we meet again. Right, Ms. Duzan? Yeah, I think, I think Rada needs to tell the, to, to the viewers who may like the music to know where to get the music, if you have CDs out, where they can download. Yes, you so you can get CDs uh, directly from myself. Um, you can contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and that is Relan? That is Relan Brown uh, on, on, on Facebook or Dominant Seventh, um, Dominant Seventh Productions on Facebook or Relan, Relan B on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, additionally, the, our, our CD, um, Homegrown, is available on iTunes. So if, you're, if, you, if you can't get the, um, the, the actual copy, the physical copy, you can't get the digital download. Well, Relan, I mean, this is the part of the show when I have to say thank you so much yes. for agreeing to be part of this innovative and groundbreaking uh, series to sort of bring local artists to the fore yes, thank and you. to earn as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. And to all the members of your band who were here as well, yes. Dominant Seven. Yes. But hang on because we're going to carry on a little mm -hmm. chat afterwards. I mean, at, at the behest of Mr. At Phillips. the behest, yes. And of course, to all of <laughs> you who, who have taken the time 
to stay with us for the last hour and plus listen to the music to the chat to getting to know the artists thank you so much for joining in on the live at cafe blue series this is the second installment of something that is going to be interminable it's an opportunity in crisis thanks to carl carl jacobs mm -hmm. and kenny phillips and all of the artists and if you as an artist big name small name in between name get in touch with carl the venue is here it's fantabulous and to all of you who enjoy our music who enjoy our artists and who want to feel bolstered support local music support local culture all of the programs will be available for a f well i think for a few days but they're going to be on the WAC FM uh, live stream, uh, the YouTube channel, and on Facebook. And you can continue to contribute on GoFund TNT and uh, the other, the, well, maybe not the text, but certainly GoFund TNT. Fund me. Please, GoFund me, go go fund fund, TNT. No, fund me TNT. Fund me TNT, sorry. Fund me TNT. Please support our artists. Thank you very much for you viewing. Next week, we'll be here, same time, Cafe Blue, Live music, Carlton Zander Alexander. Good night. Join us for the after talk.